Summer Brainiacs. My name is Mindy. And my name is Brett. And we're here at the Smart Home at the Museum of Science and Industry with your first installment of Summer Brain Games. Yeah, we're going to have a lot of fun this summer bringing you some really cool activities that you can do. And for our first activity, we're going to bring the outdoors indoors. We're going to do that by making an indoor ecosystem with a mini terrarium. Yeah. Uh, we're going to show you a few tips that uh, you can use to build your terrarium, but you can get the full directions on our website at msichicago.org slash summerbrain. So you can use a variety of different containers. We have some examples here of things you might want to use. The important thing is that they're clear and they have a clear lid. You need to make sure that sunlight gets in because that's going to give the energy that your terrarium needs to grow. So you can use something like a pickle jar, just discard the lid, put some plastic wrap and a rubber band on top. Yeah. Now the terrarium that we're going to build is going to uh, mimic the ecosystem that you would find around here in a woodland setting. So what are some things that you would find in a woodland setting? Well, of course you need to have a nice strong base of rocks and dirt. Right, absolutely. Time. Maybe yep. some plants? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we've got these from the garden store. We have some ferns and moss here, but you can find some plants that uh, might be in your own yard. Okay, yep. that's great. Anything else that you might find in your own yard? Well, since it's an ecosystem, I want to make sure we have some animals in there, so I'm going to put this little worm in mine. That's great. Yeah, you can put that in <laughs> yours. Um, in mine, I'm going to put an astronaut. What kind of astronaut lives in the woods? Okay, uh, we've really had a problem here. Really cool astronaut? <laughs> all right. <laughs> well, I guess so, and that makes your terrarium pretty cool. Yeah, you can add all kinds of personal touches to your terrarium. We have some examples of just little toys you can add. And as your terrarium grows, take some measurements. See how tall your plants grow, see how the temperature changes. Absolutely, and you know, we would love to see your progress, so please post pictures on our Facebook page. Every week we're going to be doing a fun new activity, so be sure to stop by next week for something else that'll be a lot of fun. Uh, what is next week? Uh, I don't know. Catapults! Catapults! <laughs> See you next week. Bye.